In the fast-paced world of restaurants, mastering labor cost calculation is key to success. Labor costs are divided into front-of-house and back-of-house categories. The front-of-house includes those who interact directly with customers, like servers and bartenders. The back-of-house, on the other hand, includes kitchen staff and dishwashers, the ones who make the magic happen. Calculating labor costs involves aggregating wages, benefits, and taxes. Keep track of these expenses on a monthly or quarterly basis to simplify calculations. Once you've totaled these costs, you'll want to determine your labor cost percentage. This is done by dividing your total labor cost by your total revenue, then multiplying the result by 100. This gives you a clear picture of how much of your revenue goes into labor. But what's a good labor cost percentage? It's not a one-size-fits-all answer. Typically, quick-service restaurants aim for around 25%, while fine-dining establishments may reach up to 35%. However, most restaurants strive to keep it below 30%. Understanding these industry benchmarks helps in setting realistic goals. But remember, labor cost percentages are influenced by various factors like slow business periods, employee turnover, and in-house food production. So it's important to take these factors into account when calculating your own percentages. Now, let's talk about reducing labor costs. It's about a strategic blend, not just one solution. Start by scrutinizing labor reports to identify opportunities for cost savings. Minimize overtime by managing schedules effectively. And remember, a well-trained, recognized, and retained team is a cost-effective one. By implementing these tactics, restaurant owners and managers can optimize operations, reduce costs, and ensure long-term success in the ever-evolving restaurant industry of 2024. Check out our website for more information.